Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So here is another quick, easy, simple eye look only using three eyeshadows and a few products that are multi-purpose. So I've done my eyebrows off camera. That's the first thing that I did and I will leave a link down below of my eyebrow routine using the Auburn uh, Brow Styler. Now here's Creamy Naturals, the mineral foundation. I am using that to prime my eyelids just to create a beautiful canvas. Now I am taking the sculpting powder that you use to um, contour your face with and I am contouring my eyes as such. So we're using this as our crease shade, um, transition shade and all that means is a very nice sort of neutral colour, no shimmer in it, that is going to sort of help buff out to the other shade that we're going to use. So soften it together. Um, this also deepens the crease and sort of makes the eyes pop a little bit more and it adds a bit more definition as well. So a big fluffy brush, windscreen wipe up motions back and forth. And I'm going all over that crease from the outer corner to the inner corner. I'm following my natural eye shape and not creating anything else. Just add a little bit more product as well just to deepen it up. So always start less and add more. Clean brush of course just to smooth out the edges. And I'm just showing you here, you can tidy that up later. That's why I do my eyeshadow first when I'm using a few shades, especially loose, so that you can wipe off any fallout and then you do your foundation. So here I'm just showing you actually how I use my mineral eyeshadow, so loose eyeshadows, is I grabbed the product from the actual, like on the brush from the container and I actually sort of shake off a little bit to the lid. That way it's not going everywhere and not too messy. Now this is a beautiful oh, purpley plum glittery shade. She is beautiful. I'm using a flat brush just going over my eyelid, um, going up as you can see where my cre natural crease is. So connecting the two shades together. Now I will take um, that medium sculpting powder that I used and I'm blending the eyeshadows together. So adding a little bit more there and then because I did that, it, a little bit of the other eyeshadow came off. So I'm just adding a little bit more. Very easy, tapping motions there, just on my natural eyelid there. Just showing you the difference of what eyeshadow can do. I feel like that eye definitely has popped more, even the blue even is a little bit blue. So here is the sheer light, this is a highlighter powder. So I use this for all over my face and I'm showing you that you can use it on your eyes as well. So I'm taking a little brush there, adding that to the highest point of that brow, the eye and the brow. Beautiful, it's a very golden sheen, white shimmery sort of shade, so golden flecks in it. And I'm adding that to the inner tear duct as well. These are the tra traditional sort of highlighting spots. So now I'm just going to be doing my foundation and the rest of the face. And now I'm going to finish off the eyes. I do this because I usually pop a bit of concealer and powder under my eyes. So then I want to then work on top of that. So I'm taking that medium sculpting powder just for the bottom lash line. I kind of like to connect my shades together and that creates like a nice soft smoky. You can always skip the lower lashes if you're wanting a more sort of less smoky look of course. And I'm just dragging that highlighter shade up just to help open up the eyes and brighten everything up. Now using MD Naturals Mascara, doing a few coats of that. Oh yeah, and that was just a sort of, I think that was, I don't even remember the brand of that lash curler, but I always like to do like a quick a lash curler when I'm just using my natural lashes. It just lifts them up, no heat, of course, or anything. And I am now doing the bottom lashes. To me, mascara makes the most difference to any eye look. So it adds a little bit of um, darkness and definition, but then it doesn't, go too glam if that makes sense. So it's not going too dark and smoky. And I actually used to do a lot of eyeliner on that waterline, but I don't tend to do that anymore. Unless I'm doing a real dark, dark, crazy smoky eye look. 
thanks guys that was a super quick video and i hope you enjoy this look and recreate it at home thank you so much